Diem sees the fish. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. <laughs> Woo, little breeze off of that truck. I gotta say, this windshield is treating me really good, but we're not here to talk about windshields today. No, my friend, we're here to talk about time. Time well spent. I usually say time well wasted, but these days, I don't have a lot of time that is spare. <laughs> oh gosh, and the guy behind me has less time than me. Look at this. Can you see that? Hold on. Yeah, look, you're on camera, stupid. <laughs> oh, anyway, how you doing out there in YouTube land? Are you having a good day? Let me know in the comments below how your day is going. And as usual, if you don't want to leave words, leave an emoji. Hi, Sean. That's UCM Pigs, my buddy from Virginia, I think, Southern Virginia. Anyway, I'm on a relaxing cruise and coffee, 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 for those watching for that. I am now known for certain things. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it adds to my preamble before I get to my subject. The subject of which today, yep, words are gonna fail me. I'm not sleeping a whole lot. But the uh, thing that we're going to look at today is a dam. I would do the research, but I don't feel like it. It's just, we'll call it the Ednor Dam or Browns Bridge. I don't know the name of the road up here, but I wanted to stop and smell the roses as it were for quite a while. So today that's what we're gonna do. I brought the Sony, it's in the door pack. We're gonna take some pictures and video of it. It's gonna be a nice little musical montage. After we talk about striking while the iron is hot and seizing the fish as it were, because we got a break in the weather. It's been two weeks of rain and misery, and we caught a slight break. There's clouds rolling in, more storms tonight, but hey, I got a chance to go for like a one hour ride. I'm taking it and I am not missing out. I've missed out on too many riding days and heck, we might actually catch up to real time in the road reality videos coming up. Uh, yeah, anyway. I don't have a lot of spare time, and I'm not going to talk about it in every video, but I recently split the channel in two so that the nerdy things can go on a new channel. It's new to me, and it's new to you, but it's called Creator Reality. If you haven't checked it out, here's a link here. All my favorite fans, they have all signed up to watch my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and nerdy camera videos there, and I'm going to pull over to let this guy go past. And it gives me a chance to do something else I want to do. So go ahead, go on past. I'm going to stop the bike like that. And now the radio is going to kick on, isn't it? <laughs> Whew. Underfed, overcaffeinated. And now ready for the next part of this video. Ha <laughs> ha! So much winning, I don't know what to do with myself. I will sit at this red light. Skip! And there is a point to this whole video, other than going to see the dam, because I know you guys like my cinematography skills. At least three of you do. You boop the like button for that. Hey, if you're having a good time so far, boop the like button now. Just save yourself the hassle of having to remember to do it later. And hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. Do the other YouTube stuff. <laughs> hey, let's go around a corner. A nice slow corner. There you go, look at that. Ah, uh, but it is a peaceful time out on the bike. It is my me time. And I bring you along with me because I enjoy doing that. I really, really do. And I get into this debate with other motorcycle content creators all the time. They're like, nope, my, my riding time is my me time and I don't want to share it with anybody. I enjoy sharing my me time with you. I really do. And those other guys can be as wrong as they want. Hi, Bri. Bri the biker, yeah. He subscribed to both my channels. He's helping, helping me out. He is, I was gonna say helping a brother out, but we're not actually brothers. Brothers from different mothers. What, what? I am all sorts of scatterbrained. And I realized in the Creator Reality intro video that there's one kind of crucial piece that I missed there. I felt constrained by road reality. It is a brand now, and I am the face of that brand. And while people enjoy my personality, the motorcycle people may not enjoy the nerdier side of the camera talk. Well, now I can do the nerdier side of the camera talk over on creator reality, 
and it lets me even be more creative than before, which I think is going to be a boon to both my mental health and my well-being. Those things may seem like they're the same, but they are not. I will be able to get things off my chest and not uh, spend a 20-minute vlog riding down the street doing it when I can do a 10-minute vlog sitting at my desk using props and B-roll because that is the right venue for those types of videos. Now, I've gone into that in the past in a vlog, or multiple vlogs really, where I've talked about you know the, the background being important or the location of recording being important. And a lot of you responded that it wasn't, but you have to understand, there is a subset of the population that likes motorcycle content. They are smaller than the total addressable market, the TAM, for camera stuff. And hey, look at that. We are here at our first destination, my friend. I hope it's paid. Oh, it is, good. Up. Oh. I made that turn. Going in or pulling out? I was gonna park down there and get a picture of my bike. I didn't wanna be in your way. Cool, hopefully I can turn it around once I get done. It's a little muddy at the end. I'll stay off the mud then. Yeah, this bike's not made for, uh, for submersible duty. So we're gonna call this guy Superman because he's got the Superman hat. My new buddy Superman, the kayak fisherman, right? Yeah. Outstanding. Did you catch anything today? Two little ones. Nice. Let them go. A little slow. Cool. Well, don't leave. I may need you to pull me out of the water. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go down to the water, get a picture. He did say it was muddy down here. And I have wanted to take a picture for a long time. It says no parking. We're going to be standing, not parking. There is a difference. And I do believe I can get close without getting into the water. And then we're going to see what the Sony sees. Oh, I got the sun just perfect. In fact, uh, I'm faces downhill. I got to back up. This video is going to be like five minutes of me backing up. Nah, we'll cut it down, speed it up, something. All right, that is as close as I really want to get. You know what? I could back a little bit further. If I just let it coast downhill, I can pull myself out. Yeah, that, that's what I always say. You can pull yourself out. There's not a joke in there, no. Okay, that's good. Right about there. Stop the bike. This kind of stuff is always nerve wracking for your old buddy John, because I'm half hobbling. Don't have the gout today, but we're just doing our best, right? Let's go. And they're behind me. The water, it's pretty, right? And there's butterflies flying around. You can't see them right now, but they were flying around. And in our family, that's my dad looking down and saying hello from heaven because he passed away. And yeah, it's dusty. It's not just you, it's dusty out here. Anyway, let's take a look at the water. Now we gotta get some slick detail shots of this bike in front of the water. Yes, that is how, you know, YouTubers are supposed to function, right? I don't know, leave a comment below. Do you like this sort of stuff? And now I should have a really easy time of getting out of here. Don't roll too far backward, baby. Don't end up in the water. Don't end up in a roadside ditch. If you remember that, you're either a late stage millennial or a Gen Xer, in which case you need a nap and an aspirin. <laughs> I told Superman, don't leave without me. I may need help getting out of the drink, but I got myself out. Thank you, Superman. That was neat. And thinking about it now, I probably rode past the sign that said exactly what it was, but look at that. The water level is getting lower, but it was pretty high. <laughs> he said it was muddy down at the end. Anyway, back on topic. Focus, John, focus. Don't go to the right so far. I think there was some debris in the middle of the road. Anyway, you got to take time for yourself. And I harp on people about that. And right now it's what, the middle of May. So it is 
Mental Health Awareness Month. This will be published in June, probably. So I don't really know. Your speed, hey, that's cool. They tell me how fast I'm going. I have a speedometer for that government people. I don't need a $7,000 sign with solar panels that wear out to uh, tell me that. I know how fast I'm going, thank you very much. Oh, uh, this road is so cool though, because it's tree lined, so it's physically cool. 86 degrees right now, which is kind of ridiculous. And I am sweating because I stood for a while, but we have little moments here of being out in the open and the heat, but then we're gonna go right back into the true lined road. Got some elevation changes and some corners, nice gentle sweepers as it were. And I enjoy those kind of roads. This is my preferred kind of road. I was thinking about that recently. And let me know in the comments below what your preferred style of road is. I thought it was like, surface streets and highways but there's really like four kinds because you've got highways and then you've got surface streets in a city and you've got sweepers back roads like this and then you've got the really technical twisty stuff like back of the dragon Ooh, back of the dragon and they all have scary names like rattler and back of the dragon tail of the dragon i don't know breath of the dragon oh come on blow that stuff in your own yard keep it off the road knuckle-headed mower. Hi, Blue Bike and Doyle. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's always going on and on about the boneheaded mowers. That's it. Not knuckle-headed, boneheaded. Boneheaded mower. We are not riding back this way. We're going to go a different way. I'm going to go a different way. I'm probably going to end the video soon. It's gone on long enough. I'm trying to keep them a little bit shorter, easily digestible. There you go. Thank you, sir, for keeping your clippings in your yard. If you're watching this, leave a comment. <laughs> Not you, you, but that guy on the mower, you. Ooh, I need less caffeine or more caffeine or more sleep or less food or more food. I need something to change. But today the change is I'm going out on my bike. Yes, I am having a pleasant ride on the bike. Sometimes that's all we need is like an hour to clear our heads. I know there's guys like Jason, sets their pendants. He goes on like a 3000 mile ride to clear his head. An hour, an hour is all I need. Maybe even less than that, maybe like 40 minutes. Definitely more than a half an hour though. Half an hour doesn't quite cut it. Half an hour is like a loop through city traffic for me. It takes me at least 15 minutes to get outside of basically the high traffic areas. And I timed it on my way out here, I really did. I was like, yep, I left it this time and now it's this time and I'm here and that's 17 minutes. Them's the brakes when you live in suburbia. Ooh, it's windy out today. I hope the audio's okay. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, I have more fun than anybody else on YouTube and more coffee, let's go. Ah, coffee, 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 coffee. Hall Shop Road, let's take that. It heads back towards where we wanna go anyway. I do so enjoy a calm, relaxing ride. What a beautiful thing. Motorcycles are really awesome, aren't they? Hey, if you like motorcycles, you should like this channel, so subscribe. That's twice now I've shilled for myself, I'm done. Uh, but it is time to end the video, so I will say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this video and all my videos. Here's another one you should watch while I read out the two mantras off the palm of my hand. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day, even if it's a short ride. <sighs> Bye.